person to talk about was Lucretia Mott. And the first question was, what criticism of American society did the individual have? Well, what I found was the lack of equality in women's rights. She fought for African American women in, like, specifically so that they could have more rights. So not only was she fighting for, like, anti-slavery, but she was fighting for women's rights as well. Um, and then I found out that she was the only woman to speak at the organi organizational meeting in Philadelphia, joined with black and white women that helped fund the Philadelphia Female Anti-Slavery Society. She also established an American Equal Rights Association that became active in other states, such as Kansas. She worked alongside with blacks, which, nah, which was not heard of at that time, and also fought for what she believed. She helped fund so many organizations, an anti-slavery society, and other like female anti-slavery societies, to help make her dream into reality. Elizabeth Stanton was mentored by Lucretia Mott and continued her work. Lu Lucretia's great-granddaughter actually served as a translator in Rome when they were doing an American feminist speech. So that's just a little information I found out about Lucretia Mott. And then some of the other questions was like, what was her lasting impact? What I found was that you know, she really stood for what she wanted, and the lasting impact was later on, like, the women's suffrage rights became a reality. Um, so that was, that was passed. And then what details of the person made them interesting? What I found was that, like, her father was a Quaker, like, their whole family was a Quaker, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then... The method she used to improve American life was that she was just, a, like, a really nice person. Like, she didn't try to, like, riot to, you know, get attention. She started different societies, like the Anti-Slavery Society and the fem um, Female Anti-Slavery Society, which I thought was kind of cool, that, you know, she founded or helped fund so many different societies in that way. And then promoting... Um, again, she kind of had, like, so many different funds and organizations that she was a part of and that she helped fund, so that was kind of cool. Um, to me, Lucretia Mott really stands out because she not only was fighting for anti-slavery, she was also fighting for equality at the same time. So... She wasn't just fighting for African Americans to be free, she was also fighting for the African American women to have, you know, equal rights, just as men did. So not only for African Americans to be free, but also so that, you know, they can have equal rights, just like white people, just like the white men and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool that she kind of put two things together and you know, had different organizations, different things that she funded to kind of just help bring everything together. And, uh, yeah. That's all I've got. <laughs> and she did this through, like, a very practical mean. Like, yes, she did put a lot of money into organizations, but she did it for a good reason. She didn't just put money in just to do that. Like, she had a really good reason Yes, she had, like, a lot of different um, societies and organizations that she was putting money into, but, you know, money must not have been a problem, and that's just great that if you have the money to do that, that's awesome, you know. To me, she seemed like a very well-put-together person, and that's why she stands out in society to me, or in history, my bad. <laughs> okay, thank you.